Hey there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Hope you're having an amazing last few days of 2022. Hope you guys are happy, health, and safe wherever you guys are. And sending you guys lots of positivity, you guys. Um, so, and hopefully your intentions, your goals, your resolutions for 2023 are going to be your best year yet. Um, however, not everybody is wrapping up 2022, um, you know, in a positive note, as you guys know, Tory Lanez has lost his case, has lost the trial, was found guilty on all three charges and is going to be sentenced at the end of January and, you know, potentially can go to jail for over 20 plus years, you guys. Uh, however, there seems to be a revolt that's taking place, you guys. I'm not sure what's happening. Um, and I'm not sure if this is in response to some of the allegations that are taking place from Tory Lanez's father, specifically geared towards Rock Nation, Desiree Perez, and Jay-Z, because now it seems we're getting leaks every day of, you know, the phone call that Tory Lanez had with Kelsey, we are getting leaks of the body cam, we're getting all kinds of different things that are happening and I thought the consensus was people agreed that Tory Lane shot Meg the Stallion. I thought that was the consensus, regardless if you were Team Tory or Team Meg the Stallion. But it seems that, you know, the reaction to the nearly 50,000 people for the petition, which I don't even understand because you still have to physically go to the court to actually file an appeal. Um, the petition really is just gone viral just due to the fact of the number of the people who've signed it. But you still have to physically go to the court to actually file an appeal, you guys, um, you know, to make that clear. However... It seems as though no matter what is coming out, you guys, about, you know, Meg the Stallion, about this case, whatever evidence that is taking place, it kind of reminds me of basically what former President 45, you know, basically has kind of created, um, which is a monster, and in what is called fake news, you guys, which is called fake news and misinformation that whatever the first story is, that goes viral enough, right? Whether it is true or not is going to be the story that people believe, right? And in the case of this, since there is so much division, there's so much people specifically in the black community that are on the opposite sides of this, you guys, even people who even think that Tory Lane shot Meg the Stallion, who still feel that he is wrong and still feel that he shouldn't be in jail and all this and that, there is still too many people, you guys, that no matter what stuff comes out, that are not believing any of it now. That aren't believing any of it now, and they want blood, you guys. They want blood. They are not happy. People believe Tory Lanez's father about the conspiracies, about Rock Nation. They believe that they're responsible. They believe Desiree Perez is responsible. They believe Jay-Z is responsible. And you cannot convince them otherwise, you guys. They do not care about this body cam footage. They do not care about this phone call and have already dissected from the phone call that it doesn't give what people think that it is giving, you guys. Um, so, so it's just unfortunate, you guys. It is just unfortunate because you would think with this guilty verdict, it would be like, okay, this is guilty. Um, we will wait ultimately in January to see the sentencing. And I thought this story was going away, you guys. I thought the story was going away once we got this verdict. And we wouldn't hear anything until uh, we got to the sentencing and whenever the appeal was going to be filed. But it seems as though now we are going to be discussing this on a daily basis because it seems now there is a push to convince the people who are anti-Meg the Stallion. It seems that there is a push to convince them to believe the evidence and to convince them to believe that the right decision was made for Tory Lanez to be found guilty, you guys. And the people that they are trying to convince still do not buy it, and it's fueling them more to buy into the conspiracy theories, you guys. It is, you know, basically causing more people who, in the court of public opinion, that are supporting Tory Lanez, this is just giving them more ammo, you guys. This is just giving them absolutely more ammo 
And, you know, we still have not seen or heard from Meg the Stallion since this verdict, you guys. And we still have not seen or heard from her. Um, you know, I would imagine that there would be some big, you know, rollout that's taking place because rumor had it from a few black content creators that were at the trial was that they were filming a documentary and that they were being filmed for a documentary for Mac the Stallion. So I imagine that there's going to be some big rollout of some sort, you know, starting next year, starting in 2023, right? A new album, a new tour, a new interview, this documentary. You know, to put out what Meg the Stallion's thoughts and feelings were about this whole situation, about this whole trial, about how still so many people in the public think she's a liar, how so many people still in the public, you know, do not like her. And um, and it's just it's just a lot that is taking place, you guys. And now just hilarious is getting backlash because she made a joke already about, you know, the Meg the Stallion shooting. And that basically made this joke that basically was under the guise of, hey, um, you know, you ladies that are liking to sleep with your friend's man and share the same men and this and that, you know, watch out or you're going to end up shot like Meg the Stallion is what she said. Right. And is getting all this backlash. So some people, you guys, already, you know, are not fooling with Meg Thee Stallion or already making jabs at Meg Thee Stallion or already joking about this. And, you know, it seems the more that, you know, evidence and things of that nature that comes out, it seems that there is this revolt on this other side that is like saying they've had enough and they're not going to listen to it and they're going to continue to fight the cause, you guys. And they're going to try to free Tory Lanez themselves. Um, is basically what it is doing. It is doing the opposite effect, you guys. Um, so there is that. So let me know what you guys think about this, right? What do you guys think about, you know, regardless of the phone call that's been released, regardless of the, um, you know, body cam that's been released? I mean, next we may have juror interviews. Next we may have court transcripts that leak. Um, you know, eyewitnesses that were inside the courtroom that haven't spoken yet. Um, you know, we're going to hear it all pretty soon, right? No matter what keeps coming out, it is still drawing the people who believe the conspiracy theories, the people who are revolting, the people who are pro Tory Lanez, the 50,000 people that signed that petition. It seems to be fueling them more, you guys. It seems to be fueling them more. And basically, everything that keeps getting leaked, they're now saying this confirms what Tory Lanez's dad said. This confirms that Rock Nation is in on it. This confirms that Jay-Z has an axe to grind with Tory Lanez, you guys. People cannot accept it, right? People cannot accept what is taking place. So they're pushing back, you guys. They're pushing back the more Rock Nation drops stuff, you guys. So there is that. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post the content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.